That was uh, Dunga right here on uh, Web Radio Kansanova. That was uh, In the Lap of the Mother, No Colo do Mai. And before that, we had Pare de Pecar, which means stopping sinning or stop sinning. Right here on Faith and Music on Web Radio Kansanova. Well, we are uh, here every single week bringing you the music from the Kansao Nova community in Cachoeira Paulista, Brazil, and beyond, and bringing you the message of our faith using music, hence the name of the program, Faith and Music, with yours truly, Father Robert J. Carr. Well, we uh, are entering into the end of the liturgical year, so when we think of where we're heading. Our liturgical year ends at the end of December, actually, at the end of uh, November, actually. Well, usually it doesn't coincide that well, but this time it actually does. So as our liturgical year comes to our end, our focus is on being ready for our own ends, for our own end time. And uh, so that's what our readings will be focused on over the next several weeks, especially the Sunday readings. This coming Sunday, our focus is on what they call Mark's Apocalypse, which is a uh, chapter in Mark, chapter 13, where the focus is on Jesus describing the end of the world. And of course, the week after that is Christ the King Sunday, where we recognize that Jesus is our King. When we understand that within context, we can start to understand also the message, which is that you and I have a calling to prepare ourselves for our own encounter with Christ whether Christ comes here at the end of the world or whether we go there before the end of the world, whatever the case may be. But um, that's always our call. And the way we can uh, prepare ourselves to encounter Christ actually is really simple to be focused on being in love with Christ. A lot of times people will focus on not sinning. As we heard from Dunga, he talks about stopping sinning, but Dunga will also teach we're supposed to go beyond that, because if we just choose not to sin, but we don't choose to be in love with Christ, then what are we doing? But you and I have a call to be in love with Christ, and that actually will lead us to stop sinning. The two go together. But we can easily try to do one without the other, and that actually doesn't work that well. So if you look at the saints, the saints were always focused on being in love with Christ and experience the love of Christ in response and then sharing that love. So it's always that intense and powerful love that they were always addressing and always focused on. And that will lead us to prepare ourselves for when we encounter Christ. So many people get focused on this fear-based understanding, and so they live in terror that the Lord will judge them harshly. But if they are focused on loving Christ, then their encounter the Lord shouldn't be something they should be afraid of. It should be something that we're all saying we look forward to. We look forward and pray for that day that not only that he uh, we encounter him, but he says to us, well done, my good and faithful servant. And we do that by being in love with him. So go back to the teachings of the saints. And every one of them would always talk about this intense love they had for Christ, seeking to make sure that the last word that crossed their lips was Jesus' name, or many other things like that. And that's how we prepare ourselves for the time when we encounter Christ, by being in love with Christ first. And if we're in love with Christ first, we experience his love, we share that with others. We don't have to worry about where we'll be when we encounter him, because we will encounter him in that way that we've been always looking forward to as people in love with Christ. Are uh, you listening? You're listening to Faith, Faith. And music. That's that's what you're listening to. Consumer Web Radio. Transmitting to the world. <laughs> 